it's the controversy that is taking place with regards to the prasadam which is being served in Tirumala. And this controversy is getting bigger by the minute. The ruling TDP has actually released the lab test report, which is accusing the erstwhile Jagan government of inaction despite concerns being raised by the Temple Trust. The lab report shows usage of lard, fish oil. All these ingredients were being used to make the prasadam, which is, was then distributed to the devotees. Union Minister and the Chief Minister's son, Nara Lokesh, has now assured guilty will be held accountable for this adulteration taking place in the prasadam. He also slammed Jagan Mohan Reddy for not keeping the sanctity of the temple intact. It is the BJP which has now again hit out at the YSRCP, calling the incident a massive betrayal of Hindus and they have demanded strict action. In fact, Sena UTB Priyanka Chaturvedi has also appealed no mercy should be done against those who are held accountable in this case. Well, it's a very unfortunate incident. Definitely as a state, we owe an apology to all the people, uh, to everyone in India, not to all the Hindus, because Lord Balaji is revered across, not only across the states, but across the globe. It's very unfortunate that such an incident has happened. And under the leadership of Mr. Naiduji and India government, we will ensure the best quality, zero adulteration will be maintained, and we will ensure that the sentiments of Hindus is protected. This is an affront to the Hindu religion. This is an affront to not one Hindu, to Hindus who live globally, all over the world. A tradition which has been carrying, going on for centuries has been broken. And the prasadam which is given to the Lord in three times a day, morning, afternoon and night, has been mixed with this ghee. Look धर्म के साथ खेला गया हमारे भगवान प्राचीन मंदिर को अपवित्र करने का शेरेंत्र किया गया लड्डू यानी बालाजी भगवान तिरुपति भगवान का लड्डू बहुत ही लोग बड़ी ही शुद्धता से लोग प्रसाद ग्रहण करते हैं टीडीपी की सरकार चंद्रबाबू नायडू जी मुख्यमंत्री बनने के बाद में जो जगन मोहन एक पापी मुख्यमंत्री � हमारे मंदिर को अपवित्र करने का शरणंत्र किया गया। We are strongly condemning such a kind of irresponsible, arrogant governance against to the Hindu religion which happened during the Vice Jagan Mohan Reddy governance. Apart from this, he always gave priority to divert the funds of Tirumal Tirupati Devasthanam. Jagan Mohan Reddy and his uh, family members uh, are not at all uh, give a proper uh, uh, respect for the Hindu rituals and uh, religion, uh, uh, what uh, traditions and the customs. It's a very bad uh, thing happened for in Tirumala history. Uh, we are very sadly condemning the issue that Jagan Mohan Reddy government wantedly damaging the sentiment of Hindu pilgrims, especially Balaji devotees. And we are filing a complaint against the Jagan Mohan Reddy and that uh, TTD chairman Bhubana Karnakaridi and uh, Subha Reddy. Balaji ke prati pure desh nahi pure vishu ki aastha maati ki hoi hai. Ek param pavitra asthaan hai. Vahaan pe loog prasad lene jate hai sanatani aur samajhte hai ki yaha se me sudh milta hai. Lekin aap dekhe jaysay thuk jihadi hai, jaysay mutra jihadi hai, koi chij me thuk ke dete hai, mutra kar ke dete hai. Usi prakar se kahi na kahi Jagan Mohan Reddy ne ek thuk jihadiyo ke tarah charbi jihad kar ke aur hinduo ko dharam bharasht karne ka prayas kiya hai. My colleague Apurva is now joining me on the story. Apurva, we are seeing, you know, it's not just in one state where we can see the impact of this lab report. In other states also, the ripple effect can now be felt. Well, that's right. Uh, you know, it's in fact a very shocking statement that has come out. This report that came out uh, not only, uh, you know, uh, established what Mr. Naidu was saying, it in fact also told about what are the various kind of adulterations that had uh, been mixed in the ghee that was being supplied to the Thirmala Thirupati Devasthanams. Remember, this is, uh, you know, uh, not only are we talking about uh, several seed oils like sunflower oil, olive oil, and whatnot, we're also talking about the 
kind of animal fat that he had spoken about, be it lard, be it uh, fish oil or beef tallow. We are also seeing these kind of products that have been used in, uh, you know, uh, uh, that were one of the tenders that had been uh, put in place. Remember, these tenders have been uh, put up by various companies, those who want the ghee providers, those who want to uh, supply ghee in tankers to Thirumala for them. Uh, and now seeing what, what uh, you know, uh, the report that has come out, it is quite shocking as several, it has not only hurt the sentiments of several crores and crores of people who throng here for Thirumala every day, but also the fact that uh, there hasn't been, uh, you know, any action that has been taken now. That is a question that is now raised by every single person. What is going to be the appropriate action that is going to be taken? Is the Andhra Pradesh government going to go ahead and launch cases against the former TTD chairman there, be it Bumanakar Nakar Reddy, or, uh, you know, uh, YV Subha Reddy, who was also the former TTD chairman, uh, or is it going to, uh, you know, uh, take action on the vendors there who had listed themselves uh, uh, during the tenders that had been issued? And uh, who are the people who had selected these said vendors? All of this is going to come under scrutiny now after this report right. has, uh, you know, uh, kind of exposed what went wrong uh, during the last five years. Thank you, Purva, for giving us all those details.